Well, hello. Howdy. Hey, Nate. Hey, Noodle. Hey, anyone and everyone else? I think it updated, right? Right? I hope everything updated. I just clicked it again just in case. Anyways, <laughs> I'm dying. But hello. Let's play some freaking Dark Cloud, dude. I really am hoping to be able to finish it today, but I doubt it. I mean, there's a small chance, a small, small chance. No Discord announcement? My lord, y'all are needy, aren't you? Discord announcements and things. Hello, everyone. I am playing video games. Period. Enter. There you go. <laughs> There's the Discord announcement. And a Discord link for anybody who wants to join the Discord. <laughs> nothing happens on Discord. It's all just... It's nothing. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> but if you want to, then there you go, dude. It's there. What were we doing last time? It's been like two weeks, so I don't really remember. I know... Did we... Where are we? Okay, we're here. Did... Okay. Camera, what are you doing? Do we have any... Any... <coughs> excuse me. Any Atla parts for the town? I don't remember. It said Dragon Ball first and you were hyped. Eh, it must not have updated right away for some reason. I apologize, my guy. But we did play Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi last night. So, I mean, if you're wanting to watch some Tenkaichi goodness, then uh, it is there. Although, honestly, we didn't, like, we played it, and it was good, but, like, we didn't end up really talking about Dragon Ball that much or anything. We just kind of fucked around with the game for a bit. Um, but it was a good game, though. I enjoy Budokai Tenkaichi. I don't remember Budokai Tenkaichi at all, I found out. I must remember two or three. I don't know. I need to get those ones still to, like, figure that out. But as you can see, Tenkaichi 3 is expensive AF. And actually, I'm pretty sure the price has gone up since we set our goal. Um, I think it's now sitting closer to, like, $180. <laughs> uh i mean i'll just pay the difference of course whenever we we hit the goal i'm not gonna change the goal mid like well goal but <laughs> anyways yeah no it's uh oof. but it's, budokai tenkaichi is good i like the uh the fighting system is a lot more simple but there are some problems with like the camera and the um and like locking on running away from people stuff like that there are some issues with that playing through the story mode there's some weird stuff like having to kill people in a certain way to be able to progress or having to just survive not kill the other person not like win the fight at all etc stuff like that's a little bit weird um i can't tell if powering up your character using the the equipment affects them in the story mode at this point, I'm guessing no, but there's no way to tell in-game that I that's obvious to me, at least. Um, there's just... There's, uh, <coughs> I'm dying! Uh, did we buy repair powder? Do we need a reload already? Turns out we needed to buy repair powder. <laughs> Shoot. Um... How's everybody else doing, though, with their weapons? Like, how's Steve and whatnot? That's pretty low, too. Okay. Looks like we need to restart already. This game doesn't have a quick restart feature, it seems like. Good thing I have a handy-dandy remote. Can't wait till Sparking Zero comes out. I know, dude. I'm excited, too, honestly. I think it'll be good. Um, I mean, I, I tend to like Dragon Ball Z games in general. Raging Blast on the PS3, I remember not loving. And then having recently replayed Budokai, I think for the time it was probably pretty decent. But in all honesty, I don't think Budokai, like the first one, was actually all that great. It wasn't a bad game or anything. It's just like it didn't have... The story mode wasn't great. And the only like non-story mode thing to do was the World Tournament, right? 
and like I don't know it just didn't really sit with me uh it is what it is but it wasn't a bad game by any means I mean I beat it twice recently <laughs> once on my own time and then semi accidentally on stream um so yeah but uh sparkling zero does look good and what's that that other one Kakarot was that the like semi open world one Whichever one it is that I'm thinking of, it looks pretty good too. And <laughs> it came out a handful of years ago. I never got around to picking it up. Um, but it's it's been on my list of games that I want to pick up and try and play one of these days. Because, yeah, I grew up with like the Tenkaichi games and Budokai games and whatnot. I like Dragon Ball games. Is there a store here? I don't remember. I feel like there is, for some reason. Oh, uh, but I don't remember. I think it was just like somebody's house, though. They just sold stuff in their house. Was it you? I'm guessing no, because why would you be outside if you sold stuff? Unless your shop's only open during certain times, I guess. That's definitely possible. I don't think it was the three sisters, either. No. No. Oh, you got a chest, though. I'll take that. Mighty healing? Many thanks. And third sister is gone somewhere, but I don't think it was them anyways. So who's the other... the next house? I can't remember. But maybe it's you? I'm pretty sure somebody around here sells stuff. Oh, there's a free one. We'll gladly accept that. Is morning now? I guess if it is like a time of day type sell thing, then that'll come in handy. I mean, I just feel like it's more likely that the shop is open during the day than at night, you know? Beast Buster? Did we need Beast Buster? I don't remember, but this is the dude that sells stuff! Uh, give me repair powder, please. Ten repair powders. That should do us for a little bit. Uh, is there anything we have to sell or that we don't want or anything? We probably don't need two of these keys. They're not worth that much, though. That would give us enough to get a gold bar. Selling all of that, though. Uh, we'll just sell Dran's Feather, too. I, I mean, I guess the quick moment, movement could come in handy, but... Can we actually, like, move stuff in here? We can. Cool. Uh, I think there's anything else that we really want to sell. I'm guessing Beast Buster is not the one I was thinking of, because we have a couple of those already. We'll just have to check Steve whenever it comes time to upgrade something to see. But we got the thing that was important to us. We got the repair powder. That'll let us go through the dungeon. If we can't get Super Steve, we can't get Super Steve. I do hope to be able to. I think that'd be really cool to have him. But, like, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, you know? It's not that big of a deal either. I just want to beat the game, save the world, do all that fun stuff. And before we realized that there was something else we needed to. Are we good on, like, food? Yeah, we have eight chickens, so we don't have, like, cheap food, but we do have food at least. Getting some bread or something probably would have been a good idea, but... Oh well, fuck it. Let's get in this dungeon, dude. I don't feel like teleporting to another place and then coming back and doing all that. Oh, man. And chickens, like is premium chicken, you know? It's the good, good chicken. So that should do us just fine for a bit. Level 12, okay. And then... Da, 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 I think we probably have... one more dungeon after this one still. Hence why I don't think we're going to be finishing it today. Because, uh, like, we got to get through this one, unlock the next area, and then finish that one as well. And it just seems like a tall order. Okay, how are we 
doing here? Steve can use some levels or some experience. I know we were working on him a little bit, but I had decided that it'd probably be better to go to a low level dungeon. That's the other reason why I'm like, I don't know if I really am that worried about getting Super Steve. Because I think we would need to take some of these people to lower level dungeons, the melee character specifically, because I'm just not very good with them. Um, but take them to lower level dungeons, level up their weapons to be able to power up Steve a little bit more effectively. Okay, so there's nothing like specific we're trying to level up right now or anything like that. That's mostly what I wanted to know. Okay, that's how we shoot. How do we lock on? There we go. Couldn't remember how games work, dude. Steve's still OP though. And a shrimp? I'm guessing the shrimp is a uh, fish bait. That'd make the most sense to me. Which just means it's something that we can sell. I also, I just realized we sold that stuff so we could buy gold bullion, so we weren't carrying around a bunch of cash, and also to free up some inventory space, of course. And then we forgot to buy the gold bullion, so now we're just running around with a bunch of a bunch of dollars in our pack. So hopefully we don't die. If we die, we're just going to lose half our money. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, honestly, but it's still kind of annoying. Ooh, free repair powder. Let's go, dude. Golems be useful. I guess we should go ahead and repair while we're here. Whatever we do, we do not want to hit status break on Steve. I would be so sad. Do we need beast? No. We need mage, undead, and knights. Which I think is why we were doing him. Because I think his has like the Night Mash or whatever the hell it's called. I think his weapon just like inherently has a bit of that built into it. Banana. Is that banana you can use as food for yourself, but it drains a little bit of your thirst? Or you can use it as a... Oh, darn you. Or you can use it as a uh, fishing bait, I think. Aw, oh, damn, he's a whopper. I be stuck! Get me out of here! Bruh, <laughs> that did so much damage to us. We're at 30 health. Holy hell, okay, eat a chicken. I did not expect to get literally, like pinned into a corner, trapped into a corner, you know? Of course, though, we use that chicken and then instantly come across a, uh, a healing pond, a spring, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's just rude. I mean, I think you're kind of... <laughs> this is kind of cheaty. This dude's just, like, stuck over there. He can't cross, but his AI won't let him go around either. Oops. While we are here, though, does anybody else need health or water or anything? You need your weapon repaired, I guess. Well, you were a little thirsty. Let's go ahead and repair his weapon, too, before we forget. <sighs> repair powder. Favorite of sea fish. Fishing bait. Yeah, okay. When it said favor to sea fish, I got excited for a second. I thought maybe it was a favorite food of somebody's. It's of course, giving them their favorite food increases their max defense. I think it increases their defense. Which is very, very handy. So as we saw whenever Zhao just took a hit, she lost like over half of her health in one hit. From a mimic of all things. I don't know. Let's go. Never mind. Let's not go that way. That's <laughs> that's the exit. Let's not do that. You know what? It's uh, like a little bit weird about the map. It never like loops back around on itself. <coughs> I would expect like every once in a while to like. Oh, okay. I saw the pop up and I got scared. I would expect every once in a while like to to take a turn and just have another long hallway that meets back up with one of the other long hallways or whatever. 
But that never seems to happen. Oh god, there's a lot to see the other direction. Status of the equipped weapon changed. Okay, so... From what we've heard from other people in the stream, we think what that does is changes this. It randomizes it. Like, not the individual things, but it like swaps them all around. So we actually got a bit unlucky because whatever that like golem stone, whatever it is, now is at 37. Which is something we don't need. The Mimic's at 29, which is something we don't need. And Birds are at 28, which is something we don't need. So, like, all of the things we need are all of the lowest values now. Or lower values now, which which sucks. So that actually kind of hurt us grabbing that. But there's no way to take it back. So you can just keep hitting them and hoping for the best. I guess something we could do in the future, once they're at, like, a decent spot again, is we could just avoid those pads, like, just switch to a different weapon before we walk over those pads, and then, yeah. But, like, at the same time, if we just keep going with this weapon and getting over, going over them, eventually, maybe, we'll get lucky and everything will get, like, the highest values. Maybe? It would be super handy if it did. Probably wouldn't even worry about going all the way back over here and exploring the rest of it, but... It's like that one little chest I don't really care about. But I do care about the Atla. And it always feels wrong to not murder everything, so there is that too. Uh, we need Brosive. Come here, where are you at? Need you to do your little fanny fan. There you go. Good job. Look at you twirling your stick around. Fantastic. Wonderful. <laughs> Amazing. Truly. Let's bring her out for a bit. I think she was pretty decent. Although that might have been with a different weapon. She might suck now. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> she sucks now. Hold on, does she have the right weapon equipped? No, she has the gold ring equipped. Okay, that might be why. Let's try that again. Okay, still not amazing, but better than... Better than what it was. Could, like... Kamehameha blast him. Does that do anything for us? No, not really. I just feel bad using, like, the same person all the time, but, like, when everybody else kind of sucks compared to, to Steve, why would we use anybody else, you know? Like, she's not terrible. Golems, I feel like, are meant to have pretty pretty decent amount of health. So I don't think she's actually, like, terrible or anything. I just don't think she's great either. Not when we compare her to, you know, our other people, like Steve. But see, then, like, the mummy... The mummy takes so many hits to kill. And, like, it's a mummy. I don't feel like a mummy should be that bad. I don't know, man. So let's, like, stop wasting repair powder. And let's just say screw it and go back to... What's her name? To Zhao. Oh, uh, we should have actually shot those... Um, golems a couple of times with Steve anyways to see if we could steal some repair powder from them. Repair powder's cheap, but having to go back to town to pick them up is... It's a waste of time. And I mean, free stuff is free stuff regardless, right? Oh, damn it. Back to Zhao. wonder what, like, ability the last person we unlock's gonna have. Because, of course, Goro or whatever his name is has the hammers he can smash things with. He can smash buttons to open doors, right? And then you have Zhao who can like hop across those those gaps, the perilous gaps. Earthquakes, thunder, fire my father. I don't think applies to this guy. What? The weak point? You know it, right? It's not that I don't know it. You cast curse, it'll suck if he nails you, use an amulet or something. 
Bruh, why don't you die? Do we have to shoot you when you're down? Anyways, um, I forget what I'm saying. Free stuff, free stuff, golems, something, another. Eh, that all sounds about right. Oh, abilities. Okay, yeah. Um, and then the newest dude that we got, he has the ability to do the fan thing, to clear out, like, the black mist. So, like, every character except for the main one has some sort of, like, room opening type ability. So I just wonder what the newest characters would be. Uh, it's what, the slab? Nope, stone key, okay. The slab must be what we need to leave. I can't see. Oh, I forgot they even blocked, dude. The last couple ones of these dudes that we fought didn't block at all. His weak point is nothing. He has no weak point. He's invulnerable. Steel didn't trigger at all, man. Get wrecked us. Itchy. Down we go then. If nothing else, we should be able to finish this dungeon and get to the next area. At least. I'm excited to see like what the next area is gonna be like. I hope it's different somehow. Like in any way. Do we want to explore one of the back rooms? They never really seem worth it. Like they see they they seemed super worth it early on, because early on, like, we were only getting really low-level crap and whatnot. And I mean, like, maybe it would be worth it now. We could get rid of, like, his Gladius that he has here for something a little bit better. But, like, without grinding, I feel like you just have to get super lucky in the game to get pretty decent weapons that'll let you be competitive against these monsters, to be effective against these creatures. Um, because otherwise you just, like, gotta grind and build up things. To really seem to be effective at all. Oh, god, okay. We should've... Hmm, we should've saved. No other characters are available here. Now, does his, like... Does his special work at range? It does work at range. It's actually somewhat effective, too. It didn't seem to work there. Oh, okay. He attacks twice. Oh my god, dude. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Does he have his best weapon equipped? Probably. No, you bastard. He's not terrible as far as, like, damage output goes. Especially if this is just, like, his basic weapon. But, like, bro, the melee characters in general just kind of suck. Yeah, that is his basic weapon, though. But attack 35 for a basic weapon is not bad. Seems like we always get these levels with the... with the new characters before we get any of their new weapons though which really freaking sucks damn okay and he takes like three weapon durability each hit well if we're not gonna level it up something else we f or no when it's broken it only does one damage too huh never mind I was thinking of uh, Zhao's basic weapon, because with Zhao's basic weapon, it didn't really matter if we left it broken, because it was only doing one damage to most creatures anyways. <laughs> so it's like, just leave it broken. Who freaking cares, man? If you're only going to do one damage regardless, then just do one damage but for free without having to waste repair powder on it. I really don't like the idea of there being two of you. Ow.
Can't even kill one enemy before we gotta repair powder this shit. Bruh. If we didn't need the key to be able to act- Why are you flying? Oh, you blow up. Okay. Well, does this other one want to blow up? Because, like, that's fine by me. Just go ahead and blow up, dude. Anyway, hey! That's the thing we need to leave. Cool, okay. So <laughs> that's actually super exciting. We can just grab the, uh, whatever chest we run past and find the exit to this damn place. <laughs> and there's the exit, too. We might as well check the chest, though. And just dodge the enemies. Potato cake, that's money. Pretty decent money at that. E for a door somewhere. What are you gonna do? Pumped with energy. If I was actually fighting things, I would care, but I'm not, so I don't. Wind, that doesn't help us at all, really. If I knew enemy weaknesses, maybe we could use that to our advantage, but I don't. Well then, even if I did, I guess, it doesn't really matter, because we'd have to level it up first, right? I don't know, I guess since he already has wind, we could, like, boost his wind even farther. And I think it takes effect right away. I think. Not positive on that, but... Okay. I was trying to decide if these, like, last three chests were actually worth it or not. And I feel like the answer's probably gonna be no, but... We're already so close, man. Let's just give it a try. And before they're all freaking mimics or something... I missed the chest on the ground here. A map? Yep, that's... I forgot about the map. Of course, that's gonna be here somewhere. It's locked. Uh, no, don't give up. Guess the trap explosion. Failed. Guess the trap. Curse. Wait, was it poison the first time? It might have been poison the first time. Because I don't think it changes. I think it's the same each time. Chopper. Is that any good? I feel like that's a pretty crappy weapon. Yeah, we already have one. Okay, I guess it's not terrible. Base attack a 30, but like... Hmm. We do already have one, though. I'm not gonna heal this poison, because I just don't care. We're running straight to the exit now, anyways. More fish bait. More money. Excuse me, gentlemen. Sorry, let me through. I'm busy here. Excuse me, Mr. B. I be trying to leave. So assuming there's roughly 18 floors, we got what, four floors left on this one, and one of those would be the boss floor, and then another 18. I don't know what our av average like time to finish a floor is, but it sounds like it's going to take a minute. This isn't another special floor, right? Using weapons decreases ABS. Not the end of the world. It is annoying. Like, how much ABS does Steve have right now? 87 out of 158. So we're like halfway there, and then... <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> that's annoying. At least we had, like, the right one pre-equipped, right? Um... Attack is maxed, right? Yeah. Endurance isn't technically maxed out here. <laughs> take, a, take a single point of endurance. Why not? I don't think it's really going to matter here. But 12. 12? Oh, well.
Another totem pole piece. A blue dragon? Have we fought a blue dragon before? Build up to a javelin. It's thunder, wind, a mimic, and something. Okay. <laughs> Dragon's a little stuck, dude. <laughs> I feel like that was meant to be a big scary enemy, but like... <laughs> he got stuck. He was nothing. He's kind of cute. You big old blue dude. Throbbing cherry. Nice. We do need to remember to go back to town. I'm sure the game will force us to go back to town, actually. Now that I think about it. It always does. Because we gotta, like, unlock something to be able to actually get to the boss floor. Or to open the boss door or whatever. That's the end. Nope. Why can't we have, like, special floors like this, but with helpful things? Like, a special floor where using a weapon increases durability instead of decreasing it. Or, all of our attacks do double damage. <laughs> it's always got to be negative things, man. The game always got to try and hurt us. Where can the triangle? Yeah. What's our backpack like? We still have room for most 30 things. We are right. Is that a golem? Sounds big. What a big, huge, stony thing. It is. It is big. It is stone. It is a thing. Zhao has... Bro, why are you talking about me? I ain't never seen... I don't think they apply to this guy. Earthquakes, fire, thunder. I don't understand that line that he says there. Like where it comes from, what it means. I'm assuming it's about the golem because like he only seems to say it when we're fighting him. But it could also be some sort of cryptic hint on how to upgrade him? How to upgrade Steve? Bait. Another throbbing cherry. He is in the desert, but he's nothing but a crabby hermit. Ha. Huh. Uh. Stupid. What do these do again? Magical fruit that allows time to be stopped or advanced. Oh. That's what it means by. Okay. What would be the benefit of freezing? yourself like if you're on fire maybe can you throw them at other people i'm assuming this is it says stopped or advanced i'm assuming that means that if you're frozen like when we were fighting that last boss that we fought we could have used those to get unfrozen but why would you ever But why would you ever want to apply the frozen status to yourself? This is this is stupid. Okay. Why would they put a door so close to a jumpy thingy? Oh, come on, hit the Bruh, I can't like hit the thingy. There we go. Okay, we need to like actually run over here. Otherwise we're just gonna jump across the gap again. Hello, my name is Steve. I own you. <laughs> is he talking to the crab or to us? Are we actually Steve? Is Steve Zhao not the other way around? We've been lied to this entire time. True hero of the game, Steve. When you buy the game, you secretly, like, sign your life away. You're now a part of Steve. Repair powder, many th thanks. And there's the thing we need to get down. But there's probably still more Atla around here somewhere. I don't know how many's on this floor, but I'm sure it's more than like two we've got. Oh, thanks for the five bits. Appreciate you as always. 
Another throbbing cherry. Darn's plus two, not bad. Mimic, yeah. Annoying because of how they jump around. I smell repair powder. Do you though? Are you okay, Steve? <laughs> I don't Does Steve have a nose? Can he smell things? I mean he's sentient. He can talk. If you didn't have a nose, like say your nose was completely sealed for some reason, would it be possible to still smell like a little bit through your mouth? Because like it still has, you no, know, it's all connected still, right? Just in a roundabout way. So like I'm sure your your ability to smell would be greatly decreased, but would you still be able to smell some? I feel like you should be able to, at least a little bit. I don't want to think about not having a nose. You need your nose, everything else is failing you. But like, <laughs> if it's just like super clogged up, you know? Would you still be able to smell a little bit? Through your mouth? I want to say yes. A little bit. Because like... When you plug your nose, you can still kind of smell things a little bit, right? Sometimes when you're sick, not really. But I wonder if that has more to do with being sick than just your nose being plugged? No, no, man. These are the questions that haunt me at night. And before, like, final boss of the game, we have to use main character to win it. And we focused our entire time on Zhao and we're screwed. The gold drops we get from enemies still kind of suck, man. Even this late into the game. Like, ooh, 28 gold for killing something? Yay. They could drop pretty much anything else and it would be worth more than that. I mean, it's better than, like, the two that we were getting at the beginning of the game, but... Money's not really a problem, because all the stuff they give you that you can end up selling, but they're kind of stingy with it from drops, I guess is what I'm saying. I probably wouldn't be selling, like, all of my fish bait and shit if they just gave us some things that were actually worth something. Or... Wait, if they actually, like, dropped money, I guess is what I was saying. No, if they gave us something that was worth something. I mean, I guess that'd work, too. If something just, like, dropped some gold bars, then I wouldn't be as tempted to sell bait. as we could just sell the gold bar for a thousand, but... It's not what I meant, though. <laughs> ah. Bros, I hate being sick. I'm just glad it's not like a sick sick and it's just like a either a really light cold or just irritation that it's making me bleh. But still. Slightly runny, stuffy nose. Not even like, that's the other weird thing, like there's congestion but I'm not really like stuffy, you know? Like I can still breathe just fine through my nose but I can feel that there's ick in my head. <laughs> like, I can tell that my voice is a little bit different. Uh, we need a drink. Let's go do that real quick before we go down. I can tell that my voice is a little bit different. I have a bit of a headache. Um, I have to blow my nose every once in a while, etc. But, like, I haven't had any problems really breathing. It's just, it's odd. Should we go back to town and see about building some stuff up? Nah, I think we just go as far as we can. Because again, once we get to the boss level, it's going to make us go back anyways, I'm positive. So I say we just go as far as we can and then see what happens there. Of course, if we have to leave before, then, then we will we gotta like go get more repair powder or food or drink or something uh, 
Oh, you're on the other side of a door. Can't do anything with you. There's the exit. Okay. That was a, a hell of a start to the dungeon. Ooh, a steel giant. You're new. I wonder if we change... What would a steel giant be weak to? Thunder, maybe? Well, holy is still by far our highest one, so... Let's just do Holy. Assuming he is weak to, like, Thunder or something, that might actually be better, but, like... Fuck it, dude. Assuming something's not, like, healed by an attribute, then I would think... Just having the highest one would be better than, than nothing. Thank god they still drop repair powders, because, boy, they take a couple hits. More freaking bait. Getting all the bait. What up, Capical? Welcome, man. How you been? Get Chief's house. I think we already unlocked the Chief, too, right? That's somewhat handy. Is he still poisoned? Yeah? Okay. Well, whatever. He can stay poisoned. I was just curious. I think the poison auto-heals when you leave the dungeon, like, properly. And unless the game forces us to, I don't really plan on using him before, before then anyways. To throw steel balls or something? Probably, I think. Maybe. That's really freaking helpful, Steve. Thank you for that insight, man. Whatever would we do without you? Does Steve have skin? He says that dude's so dry, his skin's gonna dry up, but like... He looks like he's made of cloth, man. Cloth and I'm, I'm guessing some kind of sticks? Some kind of wood? I mean, he is a slingshot, right? So he's gotta have some sort of structural integrity. Unless we're literally just like... Bending his body back every time we use him. Oh, I thought this was a locked door. I didn't realize it was a, a hammer door. That's my bad. Need some of Cassandra's moisturizer, right? Moisten him right up. Maybe a bit too much, though. Did you see Cassandra? Her skin's perfect. <laughs> so freaking weird, man. The whole Cassandra thing was just weird as hell in Doctor Who. All we need for this guy is for a good breeze to come through. I wonder if that's a hint, like he's weak to wind. Oh, Steve is fine. Steve has endurance out the ass. Takes like three or four shots for Steve to lose one point. Do not status break. I might cry if we lose our best weapon by an accidental status break. Cassandra. Cassandra's weirder, 100%, man. Face of bow's a bit weird, sure, but like... Not nearly as weird as freaking Cassandra. She's just a stretched out piece of skin. Like, bruh. And she's just fucking weird. Like, Bo's chill at least. Whereas Cassandra's just... Hmm. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I said, freaking weird, man. Screw Cassandra. Uh. So there was a little tiny part of me, little, uh, blah, 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 blah. little tiny part of me that was actually considering just keep playing tonight until we beat the game. I don't think that's gonna happen, maybe. I am, I'm just too, too blah right now to keep going that long. I'm still gonna try to go until you know nine o'clock, the usual. But I don't think I'm gonna make it as late as I had hoped. Oh god. 
doesn't help that I'm pretty tired too, but that's, you know, what's new there. I'm always tired. I just need my nose and head to stop being stupid. Xiao me, please. Whenever we do end up going back to town, we should see if we can buy some, some cheap food, like not full heal food. Like some bread or cheese or... I guess I'd rather have cheese than bread. Oh man. I feel like the bread's a little too basic for where we're at in the game. We will run over this pad that's over here. There's no way of knowing for sure what it's going to do until we do, but it could be another, like, randomizer thing? Nah, made the monster stronger. That's fine. I don't plan on touching the monsters or even letting them get close enough to touch us. So, like, the fact that they're pumped with energy is just whatever. It's also the last monster on the map, so double, like, who cares? No Atlo over here, okay. That's gonna be another freaking bait. Next floor then. I feel like this was a pretty small floor. Maybe it's just because it's like compact and all of the hallways were pretty small. Pretty short, rather. Down again, please. I guess that's one thing we might end up having to go back to town for. To get rid of some stuff in our backpack. Yeah, we only have 12 spots left. We've been we've been going through stuff, or we're picking up stuff pretty pretty regularly. I mean, we're a little overkill with the amount of, like... That's a big decrease, but we have a lot of repair powder. We're a little we're a little overkill with the amount of, like, healing... ...items that we carry, status items that we carry and whatnot. We could cut back on that a little bit to give ourselves more inventory space, but it's like... I don't know, I like having them. And at least so far, we haven't ran into a case where, like, we can't pick something up because our inventory's full. Is this a whole floor of mimics? Because don't those things usually show creatures, too? Whenever, yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> I didn't even know you could get a floor like that. With nothing but a crap ton of mimics. It almost makes me want to just ignore the chest. Do you still get, like, the clear of monster thing? I'm curious now. Hold on. Let's go refill our water before we leave this floor, because free water refill is a free water refill. But now, it says there's no monsters on the map, right? It shows everything as being a chest. If we click leave dungeon... Hindered by monsters, no. So it does recognize that there are monsters here somewhere. It just doesn't, like... It doesn't show them. Interesting. Shao cannot touch Adlo, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. Do we have anybody that's really good at destroying mimics, I wonder? Other than Zhao, who's just good at killing everything. Need all the way around, dumb. Need you, please. Do a little spinny spin. Thank you, sir. Hmm. 
Mimic? Mimic. How did that miss from like point blank, man? This is why I hate freaking mimics though. They're so jumpy. I'd rather fight a king mimic just because they're easier to shoot. Because they have the bigger bodies and they don't hop around as much. Or they, they do hop around a lot still, I guess. But like, because of their bigger body, it doesn't really matter. We can still hit them without missing. These ones, we have to like time the shot at the right freaking time. Steve's fully powered up. I guess we could try using Bro here for a bit. We... Do you have any like Mimic Smasher? We have Stonebreaker. Here we go. Mimic Breaker, whatever. Your thingy's already equipped. Okay, your attribute. So we do need something to give Steve before we level it up. Yeah, other than this weird cold or whatever I have, I've been pretty decent. I'm glad you've been well, my guy. Let's see how bad he is at killing Mimic. Is this going to be like a real struggle or is it going to be... Okay, so they're just like invulnerable. That's how we're missing like right away. I mean, 32 is not terrible. It just sucks like how much danger we have to put ourselves in with with melee characters. Oh my god. And then every time he blocks, it like destroys our weapon vulnerability. Or weapon HP. Honestly, I guess it just kind of destroys our weapon HP in general. It takes like three every single time we hit him. Which is just, it seems like an insane amount, man. I mean, we could just skip them all. It's not like the mimics are really worth anything. Alright. Hey! You won, Nate. Congrats. Not that you ever need points again, but like, <laughs> I'm happy for you, I guess. It's been a little while since you've had a win. Seriously, that one mimic and we've lost almost half of our HP, our weapon HP. That's crazy, boy. You've been here, messages weren't going through? Well, shit, dude. I mean, Twitch is always having problems, so I'm not terribly surprised, but I'm glad it's working for you now, I guess. I'm just gonna skip them. Screw the mimics, man. Mimics don't do shit for me. Like, they give us a tiny bit of weapon HP. Or, that Weapon experience. ABS, whatever. What does ABS even stand for? Absolute bullshit? <laughs> like, I don't... I don't... I'm sure it probably says in the manual or something, but like... Bruh. Anti-breaking strength? See, that's the thing that... It's like, ABS is their experience. Because their, like, endurance is WHP, weapon health points, which... Sure, seems like a kind of dumb... Way of call... Uh, dumb... Bro, my mind's not working, like I said, tired and sick. Seems, seems like kind of stupid to me, you know? When you could just have it be, like, endurance or durability or something like that, but... Sure, WHP makes sense. But ABS for level? That doesn't make any sense to me. Give Xiao a drink while we're here. And we'll just keep running around with him. Actually, you know what? I've never tried using Dran's Feather before. But since we're just running around... Oh, we have to put it up here. Okay, well, I don't think anybody's gonna die, so put it there, I guess? Okay, it's a pretty decent speed boost. Other than, like, this exact situation where I just don't want to deal with the bullshit of a dungeon, I don't really see how else it's useful. But a speed boost is a speed boost. Can't really complain about that. I guess if you were trying to, like, speed run your way through the game, 
You know, once you have like a decent weapon, you could probably just <laughs> run through everything, collect the Atla, get to the end. I guess you still have to kill some stuff though, huh? Because you got to get the thing to open the door, which actually, now that I think about it, do we, did we pick up the tablet to open the door? We did. Okay, cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Or, if you run, like, the wrong direction in a dungeon, I guess you could use this to get back to where you need to go to leave or get down to the next level, whatever. I guess it does have some use. And it seems to last a decent amount of time, too. It does say it breaks after a while, but, like, we were able to use it to run around basically that entire dungeon. To the next floor. Oh. Uh. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. You. Dead. I hear a golem? No, it's a blue dragon. Never mind. What's the other one? Is it another blue dragon? I know it's a steel boy. Repair powder me? Thank you. Uh, can we get lucky and have this pad? Funds increase a little. Nope, it was just free money. I was really hoping for the one that shifts everything around again. While it's not, like, a requirement for me to finish the game, I would really like to get Super Steve, man. I just want to know what it's like. We spent, like, half of the game trying to get Super Steve, if not a little bit more. So it'd be really nice to realize that, to have it actually happen, you know? Scuba Steve? What's Scuba Steve from? Is that iCarly? I feel like that's iCarly. I know I've heard of Sukuba Steve. I'm just... <clears throat> Big Daddy! That's it. Yeah. Scuba Steve is the little uh action figure that he likes. I remember now. No. Oh, shoot. We need her. Is it oh, this one? Wrong colored gem. Um, Attribute? Okay, well, it's not ice. Both of these only have ice. What do you have? Hopefully it's fire. If it's not fire, we're kind of screwed, but this doesn't look like fire. Bro, how do we get through here? Weapon. Custom, not customize. Attribute. You only have fire. You have nothing else. I'm assuming it needs wind. No wind. Nothing but ice. And nothing but ice. Is it just like generic? No. Cannot remove from this weapon. Um. Game? I mean, we have, like, wind things, but the problem is I don't think it counts. Oh, no, it does. Okay. I th for some reason, I was thinking it didn't count until after we... Until after we, like, actually leveled it up with the things equipped. Thank goodness I was wrong, though, because otherwise that would have been... I guess not a soft lock because we could still leave the dungeon. Because we do have, like, the item that'll let us do that. But if we didn't have the item that let us do that on us, then we would just have to either just restart the game or sit there until we freaking uh, thirst to death. If we didn't have to have those gems. I really hope the game takes that into consideration, like, what you have available to you before it puts one of those things in the way.
Because boy would that suck. Lose a bunch of progress, have to restart, or just let the game sit for 15, 20 minutes while you thirst to death. I forgot you had a shield. Just because you didn't have the weapon the game wanted you to have. I know I was talking shit on Dran's Feather not too long ago, but uh, now that I've used it, I kind of like it, man. Because we can just, we can freaking zoom. Let me zoom. I didn't have a torso, that would kind of bug me. That's <laughs> some good insight, Steve. Dune's a little broken. Get wrecked. And before that big chest is yet another mimic. Yup. No surprise there. Kind of expected it, to be honest. Thunder gem. I wonder if we could use the gems as well. Probably not on those altars. <clears throat> but since they, like, do do attribute-type damage, I wonder if we threw one at an altar. If it would work. If it would open the way. Is that literally everything? No. Okay, I see a door we missed. I thought it looked super small on the map. But I didn't see this at first. Plus, like, yeah, no, we don't have the map or the other thing yet, so no, it couldn't be the end. What's the thing behind us? It's a dune, okay. And there is a blue dragon. That's what I was more worried about, was a blue dragon. Because it might be able to kill us in one hit. I don't really know. It's not like I need to conserve ABS, dude. Just fix Steve. Hey, watch this one be the other one. The stone. That shows us where everything is. Nope, it's a lock to this door so that we can go get a chest that gives us the thing that shows us where everything is. <laughs> after we've cleared out the entire dungeon. Some hay. What are you? I think this might be the last floor, not including the boss. So I'm thinking that might be everything. We jow back to cross the gap. Get too close to it. <laughs> Waste some ammo instead. Excellent. Bruh, the two like worst enemies in terms of just health. Both super easy to deal with though. Granted, most enemies are pretty freaking simple to deal with with the Zhao. Because it's just stay back and shoot repeatedly. <laughs> like, there's no real strategy to it. It's just stay the hell away and shoot things. Oh, hey, bag's full. Okay, it finally happened. Um... Let's sort. Is there anything? There's nothing I really want to get rid of, but I don't know what's here. We're kind of thirsty, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and just take a drink. Why not? I wouldn't mind throwing away an antidote, I guess, if we have to. We have a lot of antidotes. Mmm, soap. Okay, that's that thingy. So we didn't miss anything, right? No. Okay. Oh, an actual chest. Let's go. 
Uh, explosion. It's a poison trap. Kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. I don't have a treasure chest key. Stop clicking that. Ooh, hydrate. Okay. Uh, poison. Noodle 519 just redeemed hydrate. Juster or actual chest? Actual chest. Buster sword. Maybe good? Assuming that's for the main guy for Tone. Tone, Tone. Weapon. Wait. Is he out of, like, weapon space or something? No, okay. 24. It's not as powerful as the chopper, but otherwise the same. <laughs> same amount of HP, same amount of endurance, speed. Actually a little bit worse because it has no MP. Okay, it's not quite as good as I had hoped, but not terrible either. Let's get the hell out of here. We are going to go back to town, not only because I think the next floor is the, the boss floor, so we're just going to have to leave and go to town anyways, but also poison. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. We have all these antidotes. Nah, I guess we're still going to leave anyways, now that I think about it, because our backpack's full. So we need to, like, go sell stuff just to, to make some room. Just in case it is a real floor. So never mind, we're going down. Down and then out. Leave temporarily. And hey, if we're lucky, that really would have been the last floor. and We can just clear this stuff up now. Uh, not that one. This one. Menu. Config. The chief. The chief has a big-ass house. Where's the door on it? There. So you can face the road. Wrong button. Wrong button. Nope. Wait. Yeah, nope. There we go. I'll figure it out. I'll get there. Zabo's house. I think we were leaving a space of one in between all the houses, so you can go there. What else do we have? Toto's house? I like Toto's house. It's a pot. It's cool. Another totem pole? Uh, I can go next to the chief's house, I guess. We were putting them in the back, it looks like. Got some more trees. The chief gets all the trees, of course. Is he the chief? And more road. Sure. Let's just loop the road around, because why not? Perfect amount, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, sort... We need the, like, middle totem pole bit, top totem pole bit, you're done, another top totem pole bit, you're done, we need some odds and ends, we need Toto, boy who lives with Gosuke, so you'll go there, prisoner cabin. Totally settled in. Prisoner of War? Yup, okay. <laughs> he just gets his own cabin. There's not like a warden or anything. Uh, you need that and some stairs. Now you're done. Odds and ends. Some hay. And Zabo. And then the chief needs the chief. Convenient for storing items with this. And I'm guessing it's this cabin. Yeah. Cool. Now we got a bunch of events to go and see. Um, Actually, hold on one sec. Are there any other houses we needed to go to? Or are these just the ones we just put down? Shoot, I don't know. 
guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just stop at every house anyways. Pick up... Oh, we can't pick up the chest yet. Hold on. We actually need to go sell stuff first. Because we don't have room to be picking things up. I think it was this one, right? Or was this the three sisters? Which one are you? Oh, you're the shopkeep. Yeah, okay. Here, buy some stuff from me. Take the soap. Take some antidotes. I'm just gonna keep three, I think. We have a lot of mighty healing, too. Take those. I'll keep the bombs. Getting rid of this stuff. Getting rid of the banana. The gooey peach. Getting rid of the keys. We still haven't used them, so no point in keeping them. All of that stuff. All of this. Okay. There we go. That cleared up a lot of space. Do you sell food? Okay, cup of water, handful of basic food, spend the last six grand we have on those, so we're not just carrying around a bunch of money. Now let's run around and pick everything up, and then probably end up having to stop back over here again, honestly. Stomach's starting to feel a little bleh. Shoot. Fish candy, we might end up having to call it early, dude. God damn it. My stomach's been acting up stupid lately. Scorpion jerky? Okay, I'm guessing that's the favorite food of new guy. Because, like, we've never got that before. Yeah. Favorite of Ungaga. Ungaga? Ungaga? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh, wait. We got a fish candy, too. I think that's a favorite of Zhao. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh, more scorpion jerky. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sorry, guys. My stomach decided that it wants to die, so I think we're just gonna call it. I hate it. It's such a short stream, um, and I'm really trying to, like, get through this game. But between this and now my stomach, I just don't think it's going to work. So we're going to save the game, call it a night. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out, though. I do appreciate you all. I might go through and do the stuff in town, or at least, like, collect all the stuff. Because I don't want to do, like, the events off stream, but collecting all the stuff would be nice just to get it out of the way. Um, but, yeah. Anyways. All right. I got to go. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming out. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.